We are super excited for this next series of videos. I won't call it a month because God help us, it never turns into a month. N this next four series of videos is going to be all about Tamora Pierce books, which are very dear to my heart and my childhood and I think maybe your childhood too. A little bit. A little bit. I hope you guys have all heard of Tamora Pierce because if you haven't and you're reading teen books, you are missing out on a lot. She has written 29 books and she will probably hit at least 34. Um, <laughs> a lot of books. Um, her series have included um, The Song of the Lioness, The Immortals, The Circle Opened, Trickster's Choice and Trickster's Queen, mm. the Becca Cooper trilogy, the Protector of the Small, um, uh, Circle of Magic. Yeah. Um, she has been writing since 1983. So she has had literally 30 years to write 30 books. Holy mother. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she is definitely an incredible woman. Um, her goal, like, she started writing fan fiction. And her goal when she originally sat down to write the Atlanta series was that she wanted to write a strong female character. And in pretty much every novel I think she's ever written, she has a strong female character or strong female character friends. Okay, so my favorite series of books that I have read by Tamora Pierce so far is The Song of the Lioness. I haven't read as many as Chelsea has because I kind of got it at the end of my childhood. So this is going to be a learning experience for me, but so far I really, really did adore the Lioness Quartet because just Alana was an awesome character. She was not stereotyped. She was, she was able to be strong and she never felt the need to change herself for anyone else and that was kind of nice. And she just does a lot of stuff that you don't find in teen books, which we will get into later. Mm -hmm. But yeah, go read the Linus Quartet. Because it is, she's so cool. Um, I'm going to say from memory, my favorite, my favorite probably heroine is Dane um, from the Immortal series, just because um, her powers are so freaking cool and she just gets more and more super powered as the series goes on and she's got like a pretty practical out outlook on life and she just does some pretty crazy things. So I'm going to say it's Dane. <laughs> Every, basically, series that she has, she's got some pretty cool love interests, too. I love you, George! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> They're never stereotyped, either! Which is wonderful. Um, yeah, so Alana George. gets George, and George is just... George! <laughs> Alana basically gets a whole bunch of different male friends who she meets along the way. The prince, George, and another guy who we're not going to spoil. But... For the first few books, it's like, who is she going to choose? The prince or George? And you're just like, George, <laughs> please. George legitimately gives you butterflies, okay? He just has he's, those moments where you're like, <gasps> he says cute real. things and he's, he's just, just sweet and just, George. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to say George, too. Yeah, he's going to be my favorite male character in her books because he's just wonderful. Second, definitely Noat <laughs> because reasons. Um, um, he was adorable. He yeah. just had such cultural issues that <laughs> well, he, he manages to overcome and it's he's so much fun. Like, she, she writes interesting characters. Like, everybody is three-dimensional. It's not just kind of like playing off of the stereotypes of like a knight is supposed to be like this, a thief is supposed to be like this. She's very, uh, yeah. Works with the yeah. medium, and she carp she compartmentalizes too. Um, like you, when characters have a problem with each other, it doesn't take over the whole entire book because they've got shit they need to do, and they will either stow it for later or they'll like have it out and then they'll just move on with their lives because they can't spend all their time focusing on relationship problems, which is very wonderful. All of the characters have priorities, which they keep too. Yeah, which is lovely. And you never know exactly who the character's gonna end up with. Mm -hmm. Like, you see that tons in Elena, and more so in, um, in, like, the other books as well. <laughs> um, so for our Tamora Pierce series that we're going to be doing in the next few videos, we're going to be focusing on Tordal. We're not gonna really be touching on the circle. We're gonna do that magic books another, another, time. another time. Might as well split it up. 
But yeah, so we look forward to hearing what your thoughts are. Read the books with us. Maybe we could post our like <laughs> kind of schedule. Um, yeah. We'll and if you have anything you want us to focus on, let us know. Let us know. Um, the series is we're going to be focusing on our Alana number one, the Immortals number two, um, Ali number three, and then the first book of Becca Cooper. Um, in that order, I think. Yeah. So, um, have fun, guys, and if you love Tomorrow Pierce, keep watching because it is going to be all Tomorrow Pierce.